Namaste beautiful yogis. Now, today we are doing the 10th workout and um, I'm pretty excited. I am starting to feel that same feeling I used to have with my core prior to um, pregnancy and that same connection, it's a very hard to explain connection, is coming back. Now, I want to have a little chat. Uh, questions that I saw coming in uh, before we get started now your connection with your core to your core it's a very unique thing and it's not something you can intellectualize you have to tune into your body it is something that sometimes I remember the first time I felt my connection to my core was in my early 20s and I started working out and doing yoga and I felt my core strengthening um, it was just that I connected to my core, my brain connected to the muscle and I felt it so strong when I was walking. Now in order for you to connect to your core you have to, it's so important, always have upright posture because it feels so good, your chest is so open, you're breathing properly and it's just your core is activated, it feels as if you're dancing when you're walking or as if you're stepping on clouds uh, when you're walking. So always remember to keep your posture upright. Now, we have been doing different techniques uh, throughout uh, the series so far because different things will work for different people. All I want from you is to feel your body. Not Some exercises will, will work for some people and not work for other people, but you will find what works for you if you listen to your body. What we need to uh, understand is that consciously, Connecting with your core is the most important thing. Performing anything throughout your day with that connection, performing any exercises with that connection in the future is very important. Right now we're focusing on the TVA, the deep abdominal wall, and um, also on the lumbar multifidus, which is uh, the muscle that runs along your uh, spine, which allows you also to have a strong core. Later on, we'll work on the rectus abdominis and the obliques but first we need to make sure that this wall is properly fired up after pregnancy after weight loss after improper working out surgery and so forth things can get weak for a while and that's okay you can always reconnect if you previously had connection before surgery and pregnancy then your chances to reconnect are pretty amazing uh, if you've never been connected to your core work on it because you can it's just a matter of it's a it's a click it will click all of a sudden now another very important question came in about the pelvic floor and a lot of women suffer with pelvic floor problems after pregnancy or in general with getting older now in our culture everybody is so shy to talk about the pelvic floor or where mula banda is because it's this like rural place but the thing is it it is um to me it's not just a physiological thing it's a spiritual thing because it's the retention of energy the preserving of energy in your body so that you can lift it up and bring it into the higher chakras and bring it into love creativity creativity here, love, connection, connection to uh, higher power and so forth. So it all starts from the grounds up. You can't just be connected to, to the cosmos and to the universal force and just be leaking your energy um, down. It's, uh, it's all interconnected. Today I want to focus on the pelvic floor. I'll probably name the class pelvic floor connection. We'll do uh, pelvic floor vacuums and just exercises but we'll be engaging the um, the tva now with uh, we'll start on the floor let's come on uh, come down onto the floor always connecting with that belly smack it if you have to because it makes you connect to it all right come down onto uh, onto your back and we're gonna do pelvic tilts without pulling the belly in and up just contracting your mola banda or um, the kegel muscles. Now I want you to bring your hands onto the lower belly and I want you to not contract the lower belly, I want you to just contract uh, your kegel muscles. Do you feel your lower belly also tightening a tiny bit? If so, you're uh, doing good, otherwise continue up until you feel that 
because the pelvic floor does include the lower belly muscles as well. A strong pelvic floor will give you a flatter belly. A flatter belly is simply a sign of things connecting properly. And having a strong pelvic floor is so important because physiologically it can lead to so many problems having a weak pelvic floor. Alright, so now we're going to do pelvic tilts with mula banda. Let's count to 10 uh, holding uh, the mula banda. So tilt, mula banda, hold. From uh, yoga, I like to do them on an inhalation, the holding of the uh, tilt, but you can do them both and see what clicks in your brain better. Generally, in certain uh, schools of yoga and even uh, fitness and physical therapy, they're taught, uh, taught the opposite way. So find what works for you. I'm still very used to inhaling and contracting my mula banda because that's how I built my core back in the day and that's how I felt very energized and had really good results with my spiritual practice. You can try both. I'm inhaling, contracting my mula banda, holding. One. Three. We're not doing anything with the belly, just more, just your pelvic floor. Now, if your pelvic floor is very weak, that's one reason why you may want to do the opposite way: exhale and then contract because you have less pressure. Um, I would say that's only if it feels right for you. Feel your body. Do both for a while, do maybe on exhalation uh, because everybody's body is different and sometimes people do things improperly no matter how much they try. Sometimes they contract the TVA improperly, sometimes small band is contracted. Some muscles don't fire up for some people so if something feels not right and no one will be able to tell you that outside of you, this, you are the one that has to repair your body. So try to feel it. If, you, if you're so confused as to what I'm saying now, just continue because you have to develop that feedback mechanism from your own body. Keep working out, keep coming back to the classes, keep trying to fire up the muscles, keep touching the muscles. Now with Mula Banda or the Kegel muscles, you can buy uh, jade balls. I'll try to list them below in the description. And you can use those so that they give you feedback mechanism of how well you're, you are. Um, although Mula Banda is not, not in, in your vaginal area, it is in between the anus and the vagina. Sorry guys, but it is in the perineal area. You still can exercise your vaginal muscles and that will help you strengthen your perineal. Let's do a few more. If I'm talking, you continue. This today is going to be a uh, mula banda. Uh, whatever else we're doing, mula banda is going to be our main focus. So if I'm chatting, just continue with mula banda holding for 10 breaths if you can. If you need to take a break from it, if you're starting to feel weak in your contractions, just do your pelvic tilts without it for a while and then come back to it up until you can do the exercise properly. Now for the next one, we will uh, press the lower back into the floor. Contract Mula Banda, exhale, pull the belly in and up. And glide your heel down. Eventually you should be able to 
do those things and be able to breathe and talk, that's the whole point. But for a while you can focus on your breath and on your um, alignment to Malabanda. Uh, eventually you want to be able to contract your uh, Malabanda and TBA if you're performing something, you're out and about picking a child, talking to people, uh, carrying groceries and so forth. So that's why you want to be able to do it on inhalation and exhalation. But while you're building here, you can focus on uh, proper alignment and really uh, perfecting it without overdoing it. Try not to exhaust your brain thinking about five muscles at a time. Try to make it fluid on you because in my experience that's the best way to become strong is to let go of the too many details. Get the, ex the explanation, that's what we're doing with the series, but then once you get the basics, try to be a little more fluid uh, so that the body can strengthen organically opposite side all right let's take it up a little bit actually uh, extend your legs up flex your feet and contract your lower belly tba pulling the belly in and up beautiful now i'm not lifting my uh, lower uh, uh, my uh, booty off the floor not yet but I'm pretending I am by lifting my heels energetically up and that really far is up my lower belly so do this a few times um, exhale can pull the belly in and up Good, and you can always bring your hands on the muscle part you're working so that you have the feedback that it is working. That's how the mind-body connection happens oftentimes. From here we are going to, actually let's do one, one leg bends at 90 degree angle. Pull the belly in and up, lower down, moving the leg at, as a one whole piece, so keep that alignment and just dip the heel down come back up five on each side let's go Let's do a few more Mula Banda exercises. Um, you can bring your legs onto higher surface, such as a bowl or a chair, couch, table, etc. Or uh, just a regular bridge. So see which one you prefer. You can mix it up if you come back to this class. Uh, and we'll, um, I'm going to do 10 reps of bridge poses, hold at the top, pull Mula Banda in and lower just a tad of the way down and again come back up Mula Banda hold, hold up until your hold is good and lower down. Now because uh, I want to focus more on pelvic floor uh, in this class and less on the TBA just in case you're not contracting the TBA properly, your pelvic floor will be the most important part in rebuilding your um, so if your pelvic floor fires up, everything else will start firing up naturally for most people. Uh, so do 10 at your own pace.
and come back down bring the soles of the feet together move upon the contractions I personally prefer them on an inhalation but you can try both and see which connects with your brain better I have practiced it for years one way so it's to me it's a very strong connection so I recommend it but you can do either way and you're just going to do Mulabanda contractions, hold for 10, release, rest up until you feel that you're ready for a second one and then again and so forth. And I will just guide you kind of like a mini meditation before we begin with the more dynamic part of the class through your Mulabanda exercise, pelvic floor, kegel three ways to call it, they're little different things the, when I say Kegel it's usually a very physio, physical exercise doesn't have any spiritual connotations to it but you get the picture from here we're just going to close the eyes, soles of the feet together Mulabanda is your focus nothing else is moving, your lower belly is, react, belly is reacting to the Mulabanda just because that's part of your pelvic floor and also uh, some of the uh, muscles that run along the spine will fire up as well part of the tibia part of uh, the lumbar multifidus or multifidus will fire up so um, that's just part of your pelvic floor connection uh, but you're just going to focus on the perineal area and uh, which is uh, which is an energetic power point in your body it is there is a, there is nerve endings there uh, but th there is also energetic power point there so um, you just focus on that and you can close your eyes and as you inhale and you slowly contract your perineal muscles you feel how the energy of the universe is coming slowly into your body is feeding into your body is filling your body and as you exhale you let go and you allow yourself to let go without worrying about the next inhalation and as you inhale you accept You accept that you're not in control. And you accept that you're enjoying the moment at present and not worried about the future. Slowly exhaling, letting go, allowing yourself to let go. Let go of worry, let go of desire, expectation of how it should be. inhaling filling yourself up with light and energy and strength vitality exhale letting go letting go of that mind chatter, detail oriented mind chatter it's all well, it's all flowing everything is fluid, everything is a vibration and you're allowing yourself to feel it inhaling your body is strong, filled with fire energy strength, vitality power exhaling with acceptance with fluidity inhaling through the perennial area and imagining your pelvic floor your core is strong Exhaling, 
with peace. Inhaling, strengthening the pelvic floor. Exhaling, surrender. Inhaling. through the perineal area. Exhaling, softening the heart. Inhaling, strong perineum. Everything you're looking for is within, it's on the inside. Exhaling more surrender. Inhale to your perineum. Exhale to your third eye. Inhale to your perineum. Exhale through the third eye. Hold your perineum in. Release. Let go through the third eye or allow yourself to vibrate through the third eye. One last time, perineum activates. Release. Take a few easy breaths through the nose. Bring your hands on the outsides of your legs and take your time. They've stretched out a little bit, so take your time to come out of this. Leave them halfway up so that you're not shocking your muscles. Try not to to move faster in a jerky way. Whenever the muscles are ready, you can bring the legs just a tiny bit closer. It should feel comfortable. All right, once your knees can come up and your feet can come on the floor, you can roll onto your side. Press your top arm to press yourself up. If you haven't opened your eyes yet, you can bring your awareness into your third eye and blink your eyes open. If you had kept your eyes closed until now, you will see the room has a different color and different light to it. Your room, my room. Because we went in within. We activated the perineal area, which is probably the most important ingredient in a strong core. Let's do a few circles here. Feel that you're dancing and bringing blood supply into your core as you move, changing direction. Come back to this class as often as you can because activating the perineal area is extremely important on a spiritual level and on a physical, physiological level because a strong pelvic floor will uh, prevent your bladder from deteriorating with age. It will be very important in performing jumping exercises. Uh, it is very important in uh, maintaining a strong core, flat core. Um, it is very important. It can improve your sex life. It can. Um, 
better your orgasms it can better your um, bowel movements all of all of those things that are in astrology ruled by Scorpio the sexual and the eliminatory system are ruled by Scorpio all of those things can improve and from there everything builds up because building energy from your foundation can can basically change everything in the upper chakras all right from here let's come on to all fours and you're going to pull the belly in release for the next one round your uh, back exhale and perform a vacuum or a form of a vacuum where you're drawing the navel towards the spine good let's get up and we'll do a few more vacuums so from here you are gonna have soft knees hands either on the hips or on the quadriceps exhale pull the navel towards the spine Alright, that was that felt pretty good. Let's do a few more. Okay. Exhale and really draw the navel in. the best internal organ massage let's do two more and make it five one more this is becoming a very powerful exercise after the pregnancy for me if you're just a beginner or just retouching up on core connection and you haven't done vacuums it's it's great that you landed in this class because I'll do one last Excellent, and from here, activating the TVA from the previous classes, so belly in and up, core connection. So now, don't over-exaggerate the TVA. I, in some of the classes, I on purpose over-exaggerated it because when you're first starting with this series, things are just not firing up and you want to feel the connection. Once you feel the connection, you're just going to kind of fire up gently uh, without over exaggerating it and just feel it just feel that when you're moving you're not waddling you're just moving with integrity there is uh, there is connection happening and even if I'm not there a hundred percent I'm imagining it because that's how you get there by connecting mentally consciously to the, those parts of your body that you want to reawaken or strengthen Let's do a lunge forward and lunge back. Core connection. Two. 
three, four, five, Opposite side, try to involve Mula Bandha. Now if, you're very, if your pelvic floor is very weak, it, you may want to do a lot of floor Mula Bandhas before it even fires up in a standing or a moving position, especially where there is a small impact. Now, if you're here because you're postnatal and you had vaginal delivery, one thing you can do is buy those jade balls. They're small balls specifically for vaginal use, and there are two of them so that once you train the muscles in your vagina, you can move them and you can connect to the different muscles or the different sides of the muscles. You can do that and once you're strong and you've repaired that area of your body, you can use them to walk for small impact and see how strong your muscles are getting. Uh, once you get a little advanced, you can move a little more rapidly and completely holding them. So that's one thing for vaginal delivery is just to repair the vaginal area. Uh, your body will naturally obviously repair it, but if you want to if you want to maintain it and strengthen it completely, you can do that. Let's do 10 back lunges on each side. One, two, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, and even though the pelvic floor so far I've made it sound like it's something for women, men absolutely need it for their prostate, again urinary incontinence, um, sexual pleasure, all of those things are enhanced. I, one of my friends, not gonna say who, <laughs> um, older, elderly friend had problems with incontinence and after contracting uh, his uh, pelvic floor, I think he did a hundred a day, everything stopped. Very powerful. So you can do those in bed when you're reading, laying, watching TV and so forth, uh, pelvic floor uh, activation, activating your pelvic floor muscles. Let's do 20 on each side. One, two, Three, holding your belly, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 opposite side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 more. Alright, from here we are going to do partial side lunges with moving the hips, figure eight.
deeper, belly active. Side to side without the figure eight. All right, open the feet out, plie poses. Mula Banda. All right, from here, you can take the right foot forward, left foot back, hips facing forward, heel to heel, warrior one, and hold, belly in, pressing the right hip back, left hip forward. I think I, think I will put in the description of the title of this class, sexual function, so that people know ahead of time if they're uncomfortable with this type of talk not to click on it we're just talking about uh, important stuff opposite side Mula Banda chair Shift onto your right leg. You will take you will take your left leg behind your warrior. See, see if you can pull the belly in. Opposite side, really pull the belly in. Lower back is working. Lower back curve. Great, grab a chair, you can go to a wall table and we'll bring the hands onto the chair, plank, pull the belly, draw it in. Do one more rep, Mula band activated, belly in. out and from here you will stand kind of wider than hip weight apart as if for squat and we're just going to turn the chest side to side bring the hands in pull the belly in and just bring side to side hand flattening the belly Shall we do five more vacuums? Are we ready? Exhale completely. Second one.
you can stand if you can be effective generally leaning forward is easier especially if you're now starting the vacuums after pregnancy during pregnancy you're absolutely not allowed to do any of those and they do have a detoxifying effect so keep that in mind three more If I lean forward, I'm really able to hollow it very effectively, surprisingly, even for me. So, take your, do it at your pace and at your level. Now the reason why we're doing these classes is not to forever just do uh, isometric contractions or uh, small exercises but it, it is to bring awareness and to fire up certain muscles and especially certain small muscles or the pelvic floor uh, but you will take this and incorporate it into all my other classes I always have focus on proper core connection and once the core is connected perfect to just do those classes if if the core is weak then stick with this up until you feel that you've gotten somewhere it's it's a mental thing it's really much more a mental thing than a physical thing when it's connected it's connected so try to think about your call throughout your day when you do go places and pick up things think about your core do things with your core connected always think about your core and that is one of the best ways for you to awaken and do these exercises and then consciously do things from your core <laughs> metaphorically speaking one more plank or two more planks whatever you can do So for the next ones, uh, two planks, exhale, and as you exhale, lift one heel up at a time, and then the other heel. Exhale and contract the TVA. And one more repetition. Now, pay attention to when you contract your TVA, is everything lifting? Where are you putting pressure on your uh, pelvic floor? I, if you feel that it is putting pressure on your pelvic floor, then uh, stick more with the pelvic floor exercises before you start contracting the TVA. The TVA should lift up, uh, but if you feel that you're not able to do all of these things together, then focus on the pelvic floor. Plank. One more plank with leg lifts if possible, if not possible, skip it. Let's bring the hands over the head, clasping the fingers, index pointing, reach over to one side, look up, shoulders aligning with each other away from the ears, opposite side. One more time. Exhale, forward bend. Shake your head side to side, softening the back of the neck, hands on the floor, downward facing dog.
knees on the floor onto the onto all fours exhale pull the belly in Take a break for the next round to we'll take one leg at a time off the floor. Let's bring the legs in front of us. Forward fold. right leg forward bringing in Mula Bandha Opposite side. If pigeon doesn't feel good, skip it. That applies to absolutely every pose in every class. Listen to your body. back up, both legs in front of you, soles of the feet together, come into an easy pose over the knees, you can turn the palms of the hands up, roll the shoulders back and down, chest open, take a nice deep inhalation, exhale and we are going to clasp the fingers and turn the palms of the hands forward around your back, exhale pull the belly in. Inhale, reach over the head. Palms turn up. Pull the belly in. Exhale, pull the belly towards the spine. Round. Now you can turn the palms of the hands away from you. Good, stretching all the back muscles. Back to all fours. Exhale, belly in. And come into a yogic squat. Forward bend, straighten the legs. Forward bend. Belly in, come up. Reach over the head. You can form a with the index fingers, you can point 
up and draw a few circles with your index fingers, controlling the belly. And from here, we'll do a few side lunges to leg lift to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, push-ups I'm trying to bring the push-ups in almost every time or often so that we're building up to the more to our usual flow flows keep your heels down if you want to stretch your legs pull the belly in and up push-ups one two and so forth to ten excellent from here we're going to steady the hips and reach side to side Every move is activating certain parts of your back, chest, shoulders. So move into those muscles. Hands over the head, over the third eye over the heart close your eyes here for a moment as you breathe as you inhale activate your pelvic floor muscles as you exhale relax relax your mind inhale pelvic floor muscles exhale relax the mind Soften. Inhale, pelvic floor. Exhale, soften. Inhale, pelvic floor. Exhale, soften. One more time. Inhale, pelvic floor. Exhale, soften. It's all okay. Everything is good. Everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. You're in the best position possible in order to unfold your life in the direction that you need to unfold it in. No matter how things look from the outside, always trust the inner process, the direction that you're headed and it's your best achievement yet it's your the most amazing next adventure 
you're unfolding into what you're meant to be, what you're, you are here to be. And every step you take towards that is the right step. Don't doubt your steps. You're gonna get there. And then there is the next adventure. Thanks for joining me today. Let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion and love. Namaste.